All right, I'm going to talk about Box.net. Have you ever wanted to share a file with somebody, but your attachment limitation only let you send something maybe as high as three megabytes? Ever want to be able to collaborate with files or work with things online? That's what Box.net is all about. It's a Web 2.0 online repository of documents so that you can collaborate and share and link and create widgets and all kinds of neat things. Basically, access your files anywhere, share with anyone. That's the idea behind Box.net. You can see here under my files that I've uploaded and created some folders. I've created some files within these folder structures. So I've got Service Quest, my company name, and Stat, a product that I work with. So if I drill into Service Quest, this is just like working on your Windows Explorer or Macintosh or any kind of folder system. You're basically just online in a web browser. And if I click on this, I have all kinds of options. I can invite collaborators to collaborate on this folder. I can send this folder a link to it to somebody. I can link to this folder. I can get a widget. I can add or edit tags so that I can quickly find things by keywords. A lot of really neat things you can do. But notice if I drill into my internal files, there's a whole folder structure under here. And I read these in very quickly. Um, and now they're, the folder structure with all the files are actually online. So if I drill into business plan, I can see all my documents related to that, including Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, you name it, it's there. And so you can see here from the icons as I drill in, I can go in and download, I can send this file, I can link to this, I can um, deal with version history, you can edit the document online using a special tool called Zoho. Um, you can post this to WordPress or embed either individual documents or whole folders into your blog. Really cool thing. So let me show you how that works. Once I've used the upload tool to basically go in and add files, I can either drag and drop them from my computer uh, or I can just basically select them here. And so I just basically add them, hit upload, and it brings it online. Once they're online, they'll look like this. And so if I want to share this whole folder, I can hit invite collaborators or I can just link to the folder or embed it. If I link to the folder, this is basically just going to send a link to whoever I send it to. So let's say I wanted to embed. I can hit embed and go out to any blog, grab this little piece of code here, hit copy. And now I've got that code. And then I can go out to any blogger or um, WordPress or any site and actually just paste that code. I'm going to show you what it looks like in Zoho Notebook where it allows you to actually embed things right in little notebooks you can share with others. And so I'm going to come over here and hit Add HTML. It says Enter HTML uh, Embed Code. I'm going to paste that. Oops, wrong code. Let me grab it again. Okay, I pasted the code in there and hit Insert. And now look, it automatically inserts a nice little widget from Box.net and you can see all my files right there. So I can share my files on any website or blog with others so people can get access to them. And the reason why this is powerful is because a lot of times you can't email large files. Notice if I click on one of these files, like this file right here, um, if I wanted to click on it and look at the properties or description of this, uh, you can see this is actually a 4.9 megabyte file. Some email systems don't allow you to, my, uh, to email 4.9 megabyte files. So the nice thing is uh, basically you can share documents, collaborate, uh, basically have an online storage center for all of your documents. All kinds of services integrate with uh, Box.net, like WordPress Blogger, uh, LiveJournal, uh, iPaper by Scribd. You should check that out if you've never seen that. It allows you to preview PDF files, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint, directly right within the web without having any of those applications. So if you want to share a Word document with somebody and they don't have Word, they can view that right within iPaper, right within this whole folder structure of folder dot, or uh, Box.net. Picnic is a, an a online photo editing tool that I've showed you before in previous uh, tutorials. And Zoho is what I just showed you. You've got spreadsheets, documents. You can edit them online for free. There's many, many more services. You have Outlook plugins and all kinds of different places. Gmail, uh, Edit Grid, eFax, uh, you name it, it's out there in terms of connectors, uh, friend feed, uh, so that you can basically work with other uh, applications online with your software or with your uh, files. If you invite somebody to share a file or a folder, they're going to get an email just like this. It basically says, hello, Tim Stewart has invited you to share files in this folder. Click the link below. All they do is have to click in this link and they can get access to the folder. A couple other features to highlight, get access to files anywhere, including mobile access. Um, the nice thing is you can deal with cross-platform compatibility uh, and then mobile access. If you've got an iPhone, they've got mbox.net where you can go out and actually work with this right on your iPhone. 
You can see some of their different plans. I highly recommend doing their uh, free plan if you wanted to try that out. Uh, just do a, 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 you know, a, tr a trial on it and see what you think. You can kind of play with it for free and uh, you can see the different limitations on that. If you want to get a lot higher in terms of file sizes, you can upgrade to $7.95 a month or all the way up to the enterprise plan. Let's say you're in a pinch and you want to uh, email a large file to somebody. You can send a link uh, for one gigabyte by just using the 14 day trial and uh, this gives you the option to be able to test it out. The last thing I'll highlight is this updates tab which gives you the ability to see all your recently shared or uploaded files and so it kind of gives you a, a, a dashboard to look at the uh, last few files that you've worked with. So really nice uh, toolbox.net, check it out.